you know, month and a half, there have been protests against racism, protests against police brutality. How did you feel going through this whole movement, this Black Lives Matter movement? Well, uh, so as a black mom of four, <laughs> I, I have, you know, this isn't my first rodeo, right? But as a mom of kids uh, that are black, I worry about this stuff every single day from the time they were born. This has been something that as a mom, I've been on my radar. And so it wasn't like some new thing. I think what happened with this is, you know, the, between the pandemic and just the sadness and the, the cruelness of this one incident and the timing of it really, you know, helped kick this movement forward. That said, like, I've just, as a mom, this has been something I worry about a lot. Um, about four years ago, when RJ, my son with autism, uh, started driving, it was a big deal because they said he would never drive. And when he started driving, I was worried about him every time he got behind the wheel. Because what happens if he gets pulled over? He has autism, he's quirky, he's different. How does he respond to demands and commands? And how do I keep him alive? Because we've seen that that can end bad. And so we, we're starting this initiative for RJ's law, which essentially would have um, notification on driver's license and maybe in some cases on even license plates to indicate that the driver, the registered owner has autism or is on the autism spectrum. And maybe, just maybe that will uh, affect the exchange between the officer and the driver. I started talking about this four years ago um, and there wasn't a whole lot of appetite to hear the conversation then, but I think maybe now, you know, timing is everything. I think we're ready. I think we're yeah. more ready. Yeah. Good afternoon. Let me first convey my sincere gratitude to Tanya Lombard and Michelle Ebanks, the wonderful co-chairs of today's event, for your hard work and for the impact that you've both had as powerful women. I'm a fan. This luncheon is a chance for women across industries to connect and learn from one another, as well as celebrate the achievements that we have made throughout the nation. As an actress for several decades, I have had the privilege of a platform to share my views and concerns about our world. I also decided pretty early on in life that I had the responsibility of being a role model to young women who may look to me and see that they too can follow their dreams whatever that may be, acting, philanthropy, or another career path. And because of this, I am so, so proud to use my voice to uplift marginalized communities and to aid people living with autism and Parkinson's disease through our Holly Rod Foundation, which I co-founded along with my husband, Rodney, almost 25 years ago. We have the opportunity to make society better. We all do not only through our own accomplishments, but through caring for our fellow humans. And it's through organizations like National Action Network that we as women and men as well can continue to make a difference. I am so very honored to receive this award today. Thank you so much. Have a great time and God bless.